hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button and in this video i'm going to be talking about the althea bernstein case and why federal investigators and madison police in wisconsin are closing the investigation so althea bernstein is a 18 year old biracial girl um who was claimed to have been attacked by four white men while she was driving downtown but she has been unable to prove that the attack occurred althea bernstein an mt in madison wisconsin told police that on june 24th she had been attacked by four men at about 1 a.m while she was waiting at a red light in downtown madison althea says someone yelled racial slurs at her threw lighter fluid on her skin through her car window and ignited it with a lighter Althea did go to the hospital for treatment, and images show dark marks on Bernstein's neck, her cheek, and under her eyes. The Department of Justice and the FBI have announced Friday that their three-month investigation into the report found insufficient evidence to pursue federal criminal rights charges. They claim the investigation includes interviews, review of traffic surveillance video, and a review of forensic evidence. Authorities said they couldn't establish that an attack had occurred. Records also show Bernstein told police some hospital staff took her sweater that was supposedly contaminated with lighter fluid and threw it away. A search of the car did not reveal any unusual smells or smoke related to an attack. Bernstein's messages also showed that she was consistent in how she described the incident to a couple of her friends, and one friend did FaceTime with her, and she claimed that Bernstein looked terrified. Wisconsin Crime Lab showed a shirt she was wearing that night was contaminated with the substance that investigators claimed could be lighter fluid or could be paint thinner. Um, with this story... I, it's hard to say, you know, if somebody is being honest, but I highly doubt that she would come up with something like this and be a t hurt herself. You know, she has marks on her face, her neck. You know, where did these come from? They didn't just appear. So um, I don't believe she is lying about it, but, you know, lack of evidence kind of contradicts that. But how can you claim that someone has a substance in their shirt that could be lighter fluid? Either it is or either it isn't. That could be paint thinner, you know? Um, they need to be sure that it wasn't lighter fluid instead of just saying, well, it could have been. And we're just going to close the case because we don't have, you know, enough evidence. But, you know, how can how can you say that about her shirt? You need to be sure. Did she just put lighter fluid on her own shirt? Or is the substance a paint thinner? So I don't know. Um... I really hope that this did not happen to her, but it looks as if it did. And I hope she gets the justice that she deserves if this really did happen to her. You know, this nobody deserves that. And it's not hard to believe that something like that in America could happen. You know, it's not far-fetched. And these investigators are quick to say something isn't racially motivated when half the time it is. And they just don't want to have to deal with that. You know, so... Um, I really don't know what else to say. I just hope she does get her justice if this was true. And if she did make it all up, you know, and investigators are right, then this is very sad and sick and disgusting. But I highly doubt that, you know, a young girl, educated, hardworking EMT, um, I highly doubt that she would lie about something like this. And she has the marks to show. So, yeah, I believe her. But, yeah, I hope she can get justice one day. And they can reopen the case for her because this is sad and nobody deserves this. Miss Althea is a very beautiful girl and I hope she recovers soon and she isn't too traumatized after what happened. But leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Peace.